After nearly two months of partisan gridlock keeping state government at a standstill, state lawmakers are now introducing a flurry of legislation this week. Fox 43's Harry Lee takes a look at some of the bills that could impact Pennsylvanians. A packed legislative agenda trying to make up for time lost in the state house. In the Senate, lawmakers are responding to the February 3rd train derailment in Ohio. The Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness Committee voted to subpoena Norfolk Southern CEO Alan Shaw to testify about the rail company's response. We have concerns on a decision for the plume, the evacuation order, that random one mile zone, sometimes two, you know, and on and on. The subpoena calls for Shaw to testify next Wednesday morning. Norfolk Southern has not yet responded as to whether they will challenge it. Another Senate measure would prohibit using a handheld cell phone while driving. Most states neighboring Pennsylvania already ban handheld cell phone use while driving, including New York, New Jersey, West Virginia, and Maryland. Advocates like Eileen Miller, whose son Paul Miller Jr. was killed in a car crash in 2010, say it's needed. It took one second for a semi-truck driver to take his eyes off the road to kill our beautiful, young, handsome son for nothing because of a cell phone. Education was also in focus after educators pleaded for help reversing the teacher shortage. One of the reasons we have a teacher shortage is because there's a frustration among teachers about career leadership. We don't need to spend any more money. We don't need any more PD days. We just need to use it much better. In light of a state Supreme Court ruling that the Pennsylvania school funding structure is unconstitutional, Senate Democrats announced they'll unveil a new funding strategy on Thursday. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.